So this is part of the sophomore ASEP class. It's called Biomedical Engineering, and it's taught by Mrs. Leslie for the sophomore class, as I stated. So today, or throughout the week and throughout the last week, we've been building model hands out of silicone, straw, and string. And we were not given a procedure or basically any background on how to do it. We had to do our own research and we had to figure out how to do it ourselves. And the point was to create a prototype and a model, and using the prototype and model, figure out the engineering process that goes problem, solution, problem, solution. And so instead of her teaching us basically this is what it is, we had to learn for ourselves what it's like to create our own model, create our own product, and what it's like not only in the lab, but in real life when you have materials and only a certain amount of them that you can use because you can't waste resources to create a hand that works just like a regular hand. So after we received our materials in lab, we had to figure out what we were doing because there was no procedure. So first we started out with a page protector. What we did was trace our hand on it to use for the model. And then once we had that done, we learned to use a caulking gun and use that to place the mold and the outline of the hand so we can have it in silicone. So once we had that, we had to figure out how we make the joints move. So some people use straw, you could have used string. There were multiple different ways to simulate a joint. And we used the dissecting tools to cut into the straw so we have giant gaps in straw. And then we put the string through it like this with a bead on top so it doesn't go all the way through. We fixed the joints over here to make sure that when you pulled on the string, it curled in like a regular hand. Once that was figured out and all of those were applied to the hand, we could have had a working silicone hand. 